From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Hurricane Dorian now just days away from reaching Florida. Be sure to tune in to ABC Action News and our mobile app throughout the weekend. We'll keep you up to date on its latest track. But Jason, the good news is this storm won't impact our weekend weather. Yeah, that's right. We're going to see scattered showers and thunderstorms starting today. This afternoon, our higher rain chances are back after being dry for the last couple of days. But our winds are coming in off of the Atlantic. That's an east wind, and that means higher rain chances for us with widespread showers and storms expected this afternoon. And then Futurecast pretty much shows the same thing all the way through the weekend. Weekend. We start the mornings dry, we get hot with partly cloudy skies, and then that daytime heating with the East Coast sea breeze gives us widespread showers and storms. It wouldn't give us any impacts from Dorian until the earliest late Monday into Tuesday, but that could be pushed back even more because it seems like the storm has been slowing down with each forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Dia. All right, thank you, Jason. The entire state is rushing now to get ready for Dorian. Florida's Emergency Management Division is on high alert as Dorian approaches our state. In Tallahassee, the Emergency Operations Center is expected to hit its highest activation level. Governor DeSantis has activated nearly two, nearly 3,000 National Guard troops so far. Right now, local power crews are also making some last minute upgrades to ensure that your power stays on during the storm. Duke Energy crews are preparing for the storm by checking all of their equipment. Their number one priority is replacing power poles and power lines. The utility says that we will likely see power outages here in the Bay Area. And stores are selling out of hurricane supplies. This morning, we found out the lows on West Waters Avenue restocked generators, but we saw people scooping them up just an hour after the store opened. And also, if you just got paid, make sure you set aside some money. The average person spends at least $200 on hurricane preps. And something that you can do right now to get ready is take inventory of your home, take pictures or video so that if you do have damage, it's easier to report losses. Experts say email those pictures to yourself or keep them in the cloud. That way they don't get lost. And if you do have damage, call your insurance company as soon as possible. As you plan your weekend, you may want to go ahead and fill up your gas tank as well. We're seeing some longer than usual lines at the gas pumps, like at the Costco on Linebaugh. But thankfully, only a handful of gas stations had limited supplies. This was a major issue during Irma two years ago. The fuel tracker inside the Gas Buddy app is now activated. Check that. We have a link to it so you can find out which stations are out of gas or have a limited supply. You can find that on abcactionnews.com. Also, there's now an urgent need for blood donations before Hurricane Dorian arrives. Lives. Hurricanes can disrupt the blood supply for several days. One Blood wants all eligible donors to make blood donations as soon as possible. There's an increased need for O negative and O positive blood. You can get news all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.